Hi everyone, in today's video, I'll explain how budget works in SAP Business One and how you can benefit from the budgeting feature in SAP Business One. So most of people, they do budget for uh, PNL at the beginning of year and uh, I know some people, a very few who do budget for uh, balance sheet items also for fixed assets or uh, some other uh, accounts. But mainly 99.9% uh, .9 organizations, they do budgeting for expenses and uh, for revenue. Mainly it's for expenses. And uh, some companies, they define budget at the beginning of year and then they divide it over the months or over the quarter. Some companies, they do budgeting quarterly and then they just roll it up to the, to the yearly budget. We'll discuss all these approaches while the system demo. So in SAP, in order to use the budget, you have to en enable the budget from the general settings. And uh, once you enable it, you need to have a look on your chart of account setup. It's just to make sure all the relevant configurations or all the relevant checks are done. Then you will define the budget scenario. So budget scenario is something like the version of budget. Uh, you can have multiple versions, for example, at the beginning of year. Uh, you budgeted and uh, there are some revisions and you want to track to those revisions or maybe uh, you want to have what if scenarios for example my budget was uh, 1000 for uh, uh, for administration expenses and later on there was a revision and uh, now it's 1500 and you want to track all the history or you want to run the reports based on the variance So after the scenario setup, you will set the budget in, um, in budget setup and you have to keep something in your mind. You can define the budget by GL account or by cost center. It's not or basically it's by GL account and cost center. Cost center is just an optional thing. If you don't use cost center, it's okay. You can simply define the budget by GL accounts. We'll also discuss the transaction. Uh, for a specific GL, you will see after a few minutes, and uh, we'll also discuss about reports. So, let's have a system demo. So, as I mentioned, uh, you have to enable the budget from general settings. So, in general settings, you have a tab for budget, and you have a checkbox called budget initialization. When you enable this checkbox, there are some other options available. For example, when there is a deviation from the budget, budget, how system should behave. Uh, do you want a warning for the user or do you want to block the transaction or, no, or nothing should happen? And then you can further select the documents or transactions uh, where user should face warning or uh, the transaction should be blocked and the behavior for the comparison like uh, how the warning or uh, block event should trigger. Should it be based on annual budget or based on monthly budget? So once you have enabled the budget in the financials chart of account, if I navigate to uh, GLs related to PNL, uh, first thing you need to make sure all the GLs are classified correctly. Expenses are classified as expenditure and revenue is classified as sales. And then in the account details, there is a checkbox relevant to budget. By default, when you enable the budget in settings, system update this checkbox. It's just a precaution. You can have a look on some of the GLs to, to make sure this checkbox is marked. So once the setup is done, uh, the next thing is uh, you have to define the budget scenario 
in the financials budget scenario you will choose the fiscal year let's say in my case it's uh, 2023 and uh, press ctrl i to define the new scenario I, I have only one scenario called main budget let's say i want to add another scenario main main budget or new budget 1.1 and i can choose uh, a base for this scenario for example whatever the budget is defined under the main budget it should be uh, for the new budget instead of 100% it should be uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 or 90% it's just you know to auto increase or to auto decrease so once the scenarios are defined uh, the next step is the budget Okay, I'm skipping the distribution method. I will explain it later during the definition of budget. So when I open the budget, I can choose the scenario. For example, for main budget. On this screen, all the GLs which are relevant to budget, they will be available to define the budget. And I have a checkbox display accounts with no budget. So if you want to display all accounts, uh, which have budgets you can remove this checkbox or otherwise you can simply uh, mark this checkbox and it will show all the gls which have no budget so for my example i have a budget for 500 for education and training it's the debit side of for education and training because it's an expense okay let's say i will update it to 600 okay and I will quickly create a transaction just to show you how the system will update the actual number in the budget scenario. And before I move to transaction, this is for the whole year, this 600, and I have a distribution method here assigned to it. So it's equal. I can have a manual distribution method as well, or I can define a new distribution method. Let's say budget and the total of method is 100%. And then I will choose 10% 10, 10 in month of January or in first month of my fiscal year. 20% in second month, 30% in fourth month and so on, so on. Okay. There are some pre-default methods are also available, ascending and descending. You can go through the business one help file to understand the ascending and descending methods. Basically in ascending methods, uh, system will consume the most of the figures at the beginning of the year and in descending methods it will consume uh, the higher figures at the end of the year so most of people either they follow equal or they define their own or own distribution method so i have defined the budget now i'll go to ap invoice Okay, and I'll create a service level AP invoice for the education and training for $5 only, let's say. And today, and I'll click on add. So the document is saved. Now, if I open the budget again, I can see even in the budget setup, there is a figure for the actual number from the transactions. If I go to financials and uh, budget reports, I have different reports available. A budget report, I can choose the scenario. Here, scenarios will help you. Or, I mean, if you have different scenarios, then you can choose a relevant scenario in the budget report. And if you want to see it monthly, annually, it's up to you how you want to see it. You can choose it in the parameters window. Let's say you want to see annually for whole months. If you want to see it monthly, you can choose some months also. So once I generate the uh, annual report, I can see my whole budget is uh, $600 then and I'll expand it. So under operating costs, salaries and benefits, education and training, total budget was 600 and actual figure is 500. This is annual budget. If I want to generate it, by months i can simply choose the monthly report and i can choose the relevant month also here or let's say for 12 months and when i execute it i can see the budget is divided over 12 months and it's divided equally 
for every month and then it is showing me in the month of january what was the budget okay what is the actual and what is the difference and so on february march and april if i have a look on the april i can see here my monthly budget was 50 50 dollars and actually is five dollars so 45 dollars is the uh, difference similarly there are some other reports also balance sheet budget report or trial balance budget report so let's say i want to see the balance sheet budget report so it shows you budget for every gl which is related to balance sheet and then the actual and difference and same for trial balance and pnl most of people they do budgeting for PNL GLs, so they use only PNL reports. So now let's talk about the uh, budget by cost centers. So in the budget setup screen, all I have to do is once I enter number here, then I can right click and I can add a cost center and I can say uh, my sales department okay my sales department's budget for training is for example hundred dollars okay and then you can again add another cost center and you can say for support okay for support department my budget is remaining 500 so total 600 you have to keep one thing in mind businessmen allow you to have more budget in cost centers as compared to the total number mentioned here Okay. even if you uh, if you add an, another line here and you budget more fifty dollars more uh, business one will not stop you I mean it's like a product limitation so most of people they just uh, take care while defining the budget so the rest of the process is same when I'll do the transaction I'll select the relevant cost center when I will run the budget report uh, in the parameter I can choose the relevant cost center in my in my budget report and I can see actual versus budget in my uh, budget report I can choose here the relevant cost center and uh, then I can do the I can run the report for the relevant cost center and I, I can have a look that's it for today if you have any questions please feel free to comment and please like subscribe and share thank you